Hi, this is Habib from Preston Audi and this is the Audi TT Coupe Sport. This particular model has the 45 TFSI engine with 245 PS and the slick S-Tronic gearbox. So it's an engaging and sporty drive, with an impressive 0-60 time of just 5.8 seconds. Starting at the front of the car we have the sport enhanced exterior styling, including the air inlet grille, radiator grille and front spoiler blade, which gives this car quite an aggressive front end. While as standard, we have striking Xenon headlights, which will get you home in any condition. Moving around the side, we have the stylish 18-inch 5 twin spoke dynamic design alloy wheels, which complement the Mythos black paintwork perfectly. There's also heated, electrically adjustable and folding body colour door mirrors with integrated LED side indicators. And even though it is a styling reference, the fuel filler cap is a reference for the original Audi TT from the late 1990s. Moving around the back, we have LED rear lights, and as mentioned earlier, the sport enhanced exterior styling also includes the enhanced rear bumper, rear diffuser and twin exhausts, which sound like this in comfort and dynamic mode. To access the boot, just hold down the button on the key or use a soft release on the hatch. For a nimble coupe, this has a really spacious boot with 305 litres of space or the equivalent of three medium sized bags, so adding a shopping or even a push chair should be really easy. While folding down the rear seats means you get over 715 litres of space, meaning you can add in those larger items such as golf clubs if you'd like. And you can easily fold down the rear seats using the toggle switches which you can access from the boot or by folding the front seats. But overall, this has a really impressive boot for quite a small coupe. And the overall exterior design is definitely eye-catching, while it definitely stands out from a crowd with the stunning Mythos Black paintwork. And even though it has a nimble profile, it has a surprisingly spacious interior, while accessing the rear seats couldn't be easier by using the toggles on either of the front seats. Even though the rear seats are more suited for children and younger adults, it is surprisingly spacious in the back while the leather and Alcantara upholstered seats are really plush and add to the high quality feel you expect from an Audi interior. There's also the benefit of ice fix points for the rear seats, so you can be reassured that your child seats will stay secure while on the move. Now let's have a look at the interior from the driver's perspective. And what a stunning interior this is. In front of you there's a three spoke flat bottom leather multifunction sports steering wheel, with buttons to control the virtual cockpit you see ahead of you. On the left hand side of the steering wheel we have these toggle switches which can use to change the display ahead. We have a few display options including general car information which can display consumption both short term and long term, DAB digital radio and media, telephone equipment for your connected device, as well as navigation. And you can use the toggle switches to zoom in and out of the map. And if you'd like you can also change the size of those dials by clicking view. There's no need for a second screen when the infotainment system is integrated directly within the virtual cockpit and using the MMI controller dial on the centre console you can easily navigate through the system on the move without taking your eyes off the road. We also have the toggle switches with preloaded shortcut menus such as DAB digital radio, media controls for your connected device with various sources such as Bluetooth and SD card, telephone equipment for your connected device as well as navigation and you can use the MMI controller dial to zoom in and out of the map. Moving to the centre console, we have the controls for the manual air conditioning, with the controls directly integrated within the air vents. Not only is this a neat feature, but it also references the original Audi TT, which also had the controls directly integrated within the air vents, while there's also the benefit of heated front seats. And you can also control this by pushing the dial, or by rotating it, and these will come really handy, especially on those cold winter mornings. As standard, there's also Drive Select, which allows you to alter the driving dynamics by choosing one of the pre-configured modes. As you can see, there are plenty of modes to choose from, such as Comfort and Auto, but our personal favourite is Dynamic, as it's the most driver-focused. We also have the retractable rear spoiler, which you can deploy and retract from the button on the centre console, or you can have it at set speed, which you can find within the settings. And it is a cool feature to have, as it adds to the overall look of this car, and gives it a more sporty style. There's also leather and Alcantara upholstered front sport seats, which are really comfortable and supportive, especially on long journeys. While there's also aluminium design inlays for the dashboard. This is a really impressive interior, blending high quality materials and build quality with some great technology. 
This was the walk around of the Audi TT Coupe Sport. If you'd like to arrange a viewing, test drive, or request a personalised finance quote, please contact us. Thank you for watching.